Today we're going to be going over how to repair a no boot situation which is caused by the BCD is missing or corrupt. So you'll get an error like we see on the screen here. I purposely deleted the BCD on this virtual machine just to recreate the issue. And this is the kind of error you'll get when you boot up. And this could be from disk corruption or someone inadvertently deleted a folder that they shouldn't have. And this is the error that you'll get. So I've already booted to Windows Media and we'll go to next and we'll choose repair your computer. And click on troubleshoot, command prompt. And that brings us to this recovery command prompt window. So first we'll type BCD edit and that will show us what the BCD is right now. And all we have is a recovery uh, BCD. So there's nothing here to tell it where to boot. So to recreate it, we'll do boot rec slash rebuild BCD. And it's gonna scan all our disk for a Windows installation and then it should give us an option. So there it found a Windows installation and ask us if we want to add it to the list. And we'll just say yes. And so now let's run BCD edit again. And there we see what it should look like, which is uh, this default identifier and it's pointing to the Windows installation. So now we click out of here and just say continue. It's gonna reboot. And it looks like we're booting now. Before we would just come straight up to that error message. So there it's logging in and we are good to go. So that is how to fix a no boot issue that is with a missing or corrupt BCD. So I hope this helped you and thank you for watching.